in this presentation, I'm just going to do a, a quick one. It's going to be about the term Indians. Not whether we should use it or not, but more of the origin of the term Indian. They say that the term Indian is given to us because of Christopher Columbus was trying to find a quicker route to India, but he ended up coming to the Americas. He was lost. My thing is, if we go to look at the earliest maps, that place is actually called Hindustan. And it's called Bharat. It was called Hindustan by the Persians, who was over there way more than the Europeans, and then called Bharat by the indigenous so-called Indians of that region in Hindustan, or Bharat, B-H-A-B-H-A-R-A-T. But this is uh, from a, new, uh, not a, new, a Los Angeles Times article from 1993. Nonetheless, it says, Christopher Columbus, Los Indios, as God's people. In response to Wolfhawk Martinez, it was a letter on October the 20th about the origins of the term Indians. Here are some information from Edward Abbey's The Fool's Progress, and it's from 1988 regarding Christopher Columbus. Abbey writes that Columbus knew he was nowhere near India and that he was so charmed by the people he found in the Caribbean, so sweet, happy, blessed, he called them Los Gentes in or Indios, meaning the people in God. This is what Columbus wrote to Ferdinand and Isabella, the monarchs of Spain at that time, uh, Abbey reports. And the name Indio stuck, becoming changed by usage to Indians. And this is from James A. Campbell in Col uh, Culver City. But when we're given this story, though, of Christopher Columbus, and uh, as I went in uh, America Vespucci, the, the, way, the way that we know that they're lying about the Americas is because they told us America was named after America Vespucci, when we can prove that Vespucci name was Albertico Vespucci, and he actually changed his name to Amerigos. Some people say after his voyage over here. But needless to say, the uh, Mary in West Africa, it meant the prince, and Cub means like belonging to. So Mary Cub, when the West Africans would have came over here, but that wouldn't change the fact that we had the Amaruka, the land of the plum serpents, with the indigenous people on this side called the Americas. But back to the word Indian. The usage and the origin of the usage of the word India, Indian does not go back to India because Christopher Columbus wasn't setting out to go to India. 